Well, the <clears throat> first thing I wanted to do was say, why did people move? And uh, so I brought out a map and I saw where they were going and where they'd been. And I could tell that uh, in the early part of the century when the hospitals were built and established, that King's Highway was sort of the outer belt then. It was to St. Louis what to what uh, 270 was in the, uh, in the 1960s. And uh, the hospitals located there, they were closer to their patients. There were more paying patients to help defray their costs. And uh, <clears throat> they, that's why I figured that was why they moved. I mean, St. John's moved, Missouri Baptist moved, St. Luke's moved. Yeah, and uh, all from the uh, Central West End. And um, so uh, we then had a, um, we were thinking in terms of the medical center. And I was in addition to being vice chancellor for medical affairs, I was president of the Washington University Medical School and Associated Hospitals. And that had its own board, two representatives from the University, two from Barnes, two from Children's, two from Jewish Hospital, and um, <clears throat> the uh, uh, so I thought we've got to decide what to do, whether we move or we don't move. So I asked a, um, I formed a committee, asked a group of the people to, to, to each of the institutions to send a couple of people to the committee. And uh, we began studying the issue. And of course, there were some differences of opinion. I asked uh, Dr. Ronald Evans, who was then a very young assistant professor, to uh, staff the group because I'd gotten to know him and thought very highly of him. And he agreed to staff it. I gave him a, I was president of the medical center, and so I gave him a title of vice president of the medical center. And uh, he, he was very helpful.